Okay, so uh, we're going to approximate square root of 5. Um, and so the uh, so we need to first make a uh, an equation that has a solution of square root of 5 and it can't be at a linear equation so um, x squared minus 5 equals to 0 is our uh, our equation now then what we need to do, well we need, we're going to need the, so we have this guy, um, so this is basically, this is our uh, function, x, f, x squared minus 5. And then we need to find the derivative, um, so uh, let's find the derivative, so the derivative is just 2x. And we need our initial guess. So let's start with, um, since we know square root of 5 is somewhere between, um, since square root of 4 is 2 and square root of um, 9 is 3, so it's somewhere between 2 and 3, but closer to 2. So let's start with um, our guess being 2. Okay. So then... Uh, we have our formula <clears throat> to give us these successive uh, values. So let's write it down up here, somewhere on the corner. So x sub n is equal to, or x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n over f prime of x sub n. So basically, you grab your previous one. So here, what we're going to have is um, x sub 1 is equal to the previous. So x sub 0, which is 2, minus f of x sub 0. So f of 2. So if I plug in 2 here, I would get or let's just plug it all into uh, in one. So this is two squared minus five over f prime of two. So two times two. And um, I need my calculator. Let me go get it real quick. So 2 minus um, negative 1 over 4. So this guy is, I didn't really need my calculator for this one actually. But I'll need it for the next one. Okay, so 2.25. And then x sub 2 is, so now I grab this previous one. So I basically just grab this one and do the same thing, just plug in uh, that one. So uh, 2.25, oh, change colors. 2.25 minus 2.25 squared minus 5 over 2 times 2.25. Okay, and then if I plug that in, um, 2.25 squared minus 5 over 4.5. Okay, so then I get 2. 2361111. Okay. So then um, the next one um, is so x sub 3. <clears throat> so notice here I only have one decimal spot that matches, and I want up to three decimal places. So 
Um, the next one is so 2.2361111 minus 2.236 and it's 111 but I'm just going to write it like that because I'm running out of space here and over 2 times 2.236111 and you want to try to leave as many decimal places as you can um, and if I want up to three decimal places at least do four or uh, maybe even five so so let's see what that equals to and then on your calculator um, you can just use the ANS button for your to use that the number from the previous um, you know use ANS that's your previous answer so that way you'll always have the entire number. Any hoot. Um, if I do that I get 2.23606 blah 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 blah. And so notice this time I have three decimal places that match. So this is my approximation up to three decimal places. And that's it.